Hey y'all, it's Natalie for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And today I'm using this gorgeous mix. It's called Twigs and Twine. Um, I think it was the January release. And it's so good for like my nature photos. And I've recently started on the six by eight album um, for a trip to the Pacific Northwest where we spent a lot of time in the Olympic National Park and I have so many nature photos. So I have this um, outside the page protector of the six by eight album. The pages are actually a little bit bigger. They're seven by eight and a half. So I have two outside page protector pages with this giant photo of Lake Crescent. And I'm gonna do this pocket page that you see on the right in between those two. So I'm gonna um, slice my photo down the middle and get it situated right in the middle at the top of the page. Um, and then the journaling is just from a, uh, what do you call it? Like a sign, a placard, a marker in the park um, near the lake that kind of just tells the story of the lake and of the um, Native American uh, tales, myths, legends about it. And so that's fun. And let's see, what are we doing? I'm sticking that down and then I'm going to work in that, um, it's a life crafted two by two square page protector. There's eight squares and I got inspiration from it. Um, it's Amy Jo Vanderbrink, I think is her name. And, um, she was on the citrus twist design team and she created a page pretty similar to this pocket page a while back a long time ago I found it kind of like on by searching for life crafted but um and she's the van life on Instagram and so I that inspired this page she had these really cool circles and so I decided I wanted to do the circles um and stamp them but I also of course wanted some shakers and some sequins in there so I kind of did the opposite of the circle stamp uh um, die cuts that I um, obviously cut out of white cardstock and I cut out the middle of a square with a circle and that's what I'm going to use to create my shaker so that I, my shaker is in a circle just like all of my stamps and photos will be in a circle in the pocket page I hope that makes sense <laughs> I was just looking for some pieces in this um, p13 paper pack um, to back my journaling and I actually end up embellishing the page um, off screen you'll see those in the final photos but um, I focused after I stick this down oh with the title I use the doodle bug puffy alphas in coffee cafe um, something like that no it's a chocolate name <laughs> I don't know it's some food name when for a brown color <laughs> but I just made the title really simple and called it lake crescent and this is just outside of um port orleans port angeles port angeles not port orleans that's a disney hotel the port angeles um in the olympic national park so now i'm going to work on my pocket page so i'm building my shaker so i use the spiegel mom scraps um acetate sheets that you can see over there on the left i'm just going to cut a couple of um actually four uh, squares of the acetate so because I am going to make two windows on either side of each shaker so I use my tear away tape to attach the acetate to the paper so that's what I'm using here is the tear away tape and then I will use the big mama foam tape roll which my foam tape roll is no longer big mama it's just like a little baby but it still gets the job done. <laughs> but you, I use that to give the shaker pocket room to shake. So I just kind of put it around the edges. I did cut it in half to go on those really skinny sides. Um, but you can see I have that there. I went ahead and pulled off all of the backing of the tape. And so I will very gently pour all my sequins in there and then sandwich it shut with the other side of the shaker. So then nothing's coming out because there's foam tape all around. I'll trim up the sides for anything that's overhanging. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that looks. And I filled it with, again, twigs and twine. And I'll put it in the affiliate link down below if you want to go grab this mix. There should still be some in the store. Um, at the film, time of filming, there was. And um, it's so cute. It's so good. It has these like little bitty ones. Love them. So I'm actually using a thimble to fill that up because I didn't want to overfill it. I wanted to make sure there was room for them to move around, but I really just love how they help bring out the 
um, colors in the natural photo. So there's a lot of browns and a lot of blues and a few greens. So that's kind of where I went with the stamping ink choices. So I went through all my stamps and I kind of just pulled out a bunch that were circular mostly, but also just ones that would um, highlight the nature of the page and also um, not too many words. You know, I got to have a good balance between icons and words. I have two photos of ducks on this side. Um, so I cut them into smaller circles to put on the circle medallions. And now I'm going to use tumbled glass for some of the stamping and some of my stamps. So my stamps are like Heidi Swap. Some of them are Citrus Twist. Some of them are Everyday Explorers. I think that's mostly it. Those three. They're all really good about having those fun little like badges and icons and um, travel themed. That one is Bundled Sage. We're going in with Antique Lemon linen not lemon <laughs> and uh i think i used also bundled twigs i think is what it's called gathered twigs it's bundled sage and gathered twigs yep um so i love doing the double stamping i love those little two-tone things where you can kind of fill in the medallion circle i love that but i also really love that um national park stamp that's a Heidi swap and I was just like stamping on the other side first just to ensure that everything was stamping properly and made sure I didn't need to clean off my stamp or anything so I flipped my page over and I'm just kind of placing everything to make sure that I don't um that I know where my stickers go where I want to place my photo and then build my stamps around that that is an everyday explorer stamp it's really fun um it's a whole like badge circle and you can fill it in with a bunch of fun things Let's see more. Um, that's there's a smiley face. That's from the new Heidi Swap Stamp Society stamp, and it's like um, there's a few. There's a star eye smiley and a heart eye smiley, which I really love. So I wanted to use the heart eyes because obviously this view was all heart eyes. All the views in this park are heart eyes. Um, it was an amazing trip, and someday we'll go back because we did not take our kids this time. They were too little, but when they're older. Um, and plus we missed Hurricane Ridge because it snowed. So, uh, it was, that was something to be in a rainforest when the, it was snowing. That was incredible. <laughs> so really great experience. And then on this side, the only picture I have is just this picture of the sign at this pull off. It was just a quick pull off. We didn't do much at Lake Crescent, but it was a beautiful photo and enough to warrant just one of its own spread in the um, album, which I still don't have. And I'm not sure. So I'm not putting any holes in anything because I don't have an album. <laughs> so just going around and making sure I get all of the colors that I did on the other side encompassed into these circle shapes on this side. And then I'll just stuff my pockets with the shaker and with the circles and they kind of just like stay on their own you know um I cut them just perfectly so that they were the perfect size for these two by two pockets so they don't move around or anything in there so they don't need to be glued down in any other way so I was really happy with how that looked and thanks to Amy for inspiring that with her life crafted hashtag on Instagram and um like I said off screen you'll be able to see how I embellished the for uh, the larger pages where the photo is. And I used a lot of P13 for that. And that collection is called um, Hit the Road and it's in the uh, Cherry on Top store. And I'll link down below to that too, um, to the store as well, if you would like to shop over there. So I did um, stick all of the circles together so that they didn't like come apart inside. But um, otherwise, when I stick them in the pocket, they stay pretty well and they don't like rotate or anything is kind of what I was alluding to earlier. So make sure you um, check out the new releases um, that Jody has over in the Spiegel Mom Scrap store. There's a lot of fun things, including a really fun new um, Valentine's mix. Um, the still shots are coming and you can also check them out on the gallery at a cherry on top. I'll put a link down below for that as well. If you would like to go see more still shots and like zoom in and detail or on my Instagram as well. I'll post all over there. There you can see the embellished pages. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love it if you like and subscribe. Bye y'all.